Hello, HCEG kids, and welcome back to another uh, Wednesday Connect. I'm Miss Ari, and today we are going to be looking through Acts chapter 2, verses 42 through 47. Guys, we have been going through our fruit series, and this week we are learning about grapes. So if you guys have not come back to church or HCEG kids in a while, I encourage you to do so. We just love you guys so much and we want you guys to come back to church and get the word in and just be in fellowship with other kids and other christian believers but all right let's go ahead and go through acts chapter 2 verses 42 and 47 verse 42 they devoted themselves to the apostles teaching and to fellowship to the breaking of bread and to prayer verse 43 everyone was filled with awe at the many wonders and signs performed by the apostles all the believers were together and had everything in common they sold property and possessions to give to anyone who had need every day they continued to meet together in the temple courts they broke bread in their homes and ate together with glad and sincere hearts praising god and enjoying the favor of all the people and the lord added to their number daily those who were being saved I love this so much. In Acts chapter 2, this is all the believers coming together and fellowshipping and just praising God all together all at once. And for my observation, I put, have you ever just eaten one grape by itself? If you or mom or dad are packing a lunch and for a snack you just find one grape, doesn't that sound silly? Grapes are formed in bunches, more than one grape. Grapes aren't the only thing God intended to go together. God made people to go together as well. People are usually born one at a time and one rarely in bunches. But God made it clear in the very beginning of Genesis that it wasn't good for us to be alone. God wants us to have friends who can do life with us and be there in good times and bad. When we look at the early church, we see just how God intended our friendships to be. All right, and for my application, I put, whether you have many friends or no friends at all, Jesus doesn't want you to be alone. Jesus will help you to find friends you can trust. He can unite you with people with who also believe in Jesus so that you can be there for them and they can be there for you. Life is too hard to face alone. In this world, we will all have bad days and highs and lows, but God doesn't want us to face those tough times by ourselves. He wants to give us comfort. He wants to comfort us through our friends. God also wants to use us like those early believers to meet the needs of our friends when they are down and out. Grapes grow on the vine, bunched together. God wants us to grow together in a bunch, loving one another and meeting each other's needs. Let's join together in Jesus, the vine, and become the kind friends God wants us to be. For my prayer, I put, Lord, thank you that you have given me your word today. I pray that I will seek more godly friends and help me to build relationships in my life that will, in my life that will last a very long time. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, thank you for joining me for today's Wednesday Connect. Come back next week for Miss Kathy as she teaches us about lemons. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.